Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the new Mail Categories feature in macOS. So once you've upgraded to macOS Sequoia 15.4, Mail looks a little bit different. It's got something in it called Categories. Now these might not be completely new to you because previously they were available in iOS and iPad OS, so you may have seen them there as well. But this is the first time they're on the Mac. Basically what it looks like is this. In the Mail app, you see these five buttons here at the top. The last one's just a little bit out of sight. And these are five different ways of viewing your inbox. So you either need to have all inboxes selected, or if you have multiple accounts, you can select just one inbox. But notice they won't appear in other situations. Like if you look at your archive, say, it's not there. So this is an inbox feature. What this does is it attempts to make it easier to get through your inbox by categorizing things in four different categories. There's primary, then there's transactions, then there's updates, and there's promotions. And that's how you can view each of these four things, just by clicking here at the top. So what are they? Well, the transactions one is gonna to try to show you receipts and things like that. You actually see a description of it here at the top. And after the first time you review this, you can dismiss it and you won't be bothered with it again. The updates one is for things like when you get regular newsletters or updates from some website, it puts them in there. And the promotions one is for special deals, offers, coupons, that kind of thing. And what mail attempts to do is it attempts to categorize each mail that comes in as one of these things. The default collection is primary. So in other words, if it doesn't fit in one of those, it's gonna appear here in primary. Also, sometimes if it does appear in one of those, but it seems to be very important, it will be in both primary and in one of these three categories. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now, the categorization is automatic, but you do have some control. For instance, let's say I want to move all emails from this person here into the updates category. I can do that by control clicking, right clicking, or two finger click on a trackpad on it. And I should see categorize sender here. It should be set to automatically, but I could have it always categorized as one of these four. So it's just going to look at who the email is from. And whenever you get a new email from that person, it's going to go into one of these categories automatically. You could also do it up here by clicking on the name or email address that you see here, and there's Categorize Sender there as well. If you find something is going into a category and it shouldn't, like let's say you don't want these going into transactions, and you can use the same techniques here to have it go to, say, primary instead to make sure that it doesn't get into one of those other three buckets. Unfortunately, there's no way to be more precise than that. You can't like filter based on keywords or some other content in the message. If you ever want to see the definitions for the different categories again, you can go into view and there's about categories here. This brings up this window and it describes each category again and gives you more information. For instance, when a message goes into transactions, updates, promotions, but includes time sensitive information, in other words, the content in it seems to suggest a deadline of some sort, it will also appear in primary, like I said before. You also have a button here to reset all the manual configurations. So if you set a bunch of messages to manually go to a certain category and then find it's not working for you, you can use this button to get rid of all those and start again. Now, as you can imagine, in addition to a lot of people not caring either way for this new feature, there are a lot of people that love it, that have actually been asking for this, and also a lot of people that hate it and immediately want to know how to go back to how it was before. And there are actually two methods for doing that. One allows you to keep the categories here at the top in case you want to use them, but simply view things like they were before. Remember I said there were five buttons here and you could see this other one just out of sight? Well, the fifth one is actually all mail. If you click on it, it reveals itself 
and primary is condensed into a smaller button. And now you could see all messages here. And this is the same as it was before. You still have the buttons here at the top. So if you want to dig into one of these, you can. But by sticking with all mail, just leaving it like that, you have an inbox that looks like it did before without completely turning the feature off. This is in fact how I've been using it with all mail selected here, but the button's still active in case. And here's another useful tip. You can use two fingers on a trackpad and swipe to go between two of these. For instance, let's select transactions here. If I swipe to the left, it goes to all mail. I swipe to the right, it goes to transactions. If I select primary instead, then I can swipe back and forth across these buttons to go between primary and all mail. Now, let's say you really do just want to completely get rid of it, but you can do that pretty easily. You can go to view and then it's just a check mark here, show mail categories. You can also get to it with this three dots button, which also has about categories and you can turn off show mail categories here as well. And then it goes away and it looks exactly like it did before, but you could easily turn it on again if you ever want to give it another try. So it certainly isn't going to be for everybody. If it's not for you, just turn it off. If you think it might make getting through your daily email inbox a little easier, then give it a try over the next days and weeks. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.